right, guys, let's go through question number eight. So question number eight says, according to figure one, so where are we looking? Figure one. Of the following months, during which one did the 13-line ground squirrel spend the most time in periods of torpor? Okay. Um, so one thing I do want to kind of make clear to you guys, why am I not circling or underlining 13 line ground squirrel? Well, what are reference points? Reference points are going to be specific pieces of information and questions that are unique. So, you know, uh, what's in every single question. If you look, every single question has 13 line ground squirrel, 13 line ground squirrel, 13 line ground squirrel. They all have that, right? So I know that that's not something unique, right? But not every question has figure one. Some of them have figure two. So I know to circle figure one. Not all of them have periods of torpor. So I know I'm going to circle or underline periods of torpor. Um, these are the unique things that are part of each question. That's what I'm looking to um, underline and circle here. So we're going to look at figure one and we're going to find periods of torpor. So here's figure one. I, where is periods of torpor? Well, that's what it is right there. We can see that periods of torpor are going to be these like little, uh, you know, uh, horizontal lines that occur at the bottom portion um, or kind of like extend, you know, this, this whole, these whole areas that are between the spikes are going to be your periods of torpor, right? And it's asking us in which of the months, in which of the months did the squirrel spend the most time in periods of torpor? So you look through, you know, and it's basically asking you, you know, which, like in which area, in which month is this area between these spikes going to be largest? Um, for the purpose of time, I will tell you that the largest periods of torpor, again, the area between the spikes, the area between the spikes um, is going to be from like the November to February area. So from November, right, like all these areas that I've highlighted here all the way up till February, it's going to be spending the longest periods of time in, in torpor. Longest uh, periods of torpor are going to be over there, right? From August to October, you're very, very small uh, or in how wide those periods of torpor are compared to November to February, right? And same for past February. Past February, this whole area, these periods of torpor are much smaller in width than you know, November to February. So let's go to our answer choices. We have to pick one that's between November to February. The only answer that's, you know, going to be there is answer choice H. Um, again, August, September, and April, all of these areas outside, you know, all of these areas outside of these, you know, very wide periods of torpor are going to be the least. So that's why our answer for this question is going to be answer choice H, February. So again, what did I do for this question? I, in my question itself, I circled figure one, I circled period of torpor, I found figure one, found period of torpor, tried to understand what a period of torpor actually is. It shows me that it's this area between the spikes, right, between the spikes. And then I just asked myself, you know, which areas have the largest width between those spikes? And uh, that's how I got my answer for question number eight. Same process every single time.